Answer a question, choose a drop zone, release a counter. Today's players know the drill, but do they have what it takes to win £10,000? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Amon, a teacher from Birmingham. I'm JP, an executive chauffeur from West London. And I'm Anne, a hospitality supervisor from Bristol. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with the bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those falls for you, or double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to play in round two, so you'll want to try and bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. Which word for a young dog comes before love in the title of a UK JP? Puppy. Title of a UK number one single by Donny Osmond. Puppy love is absolutely right, JP. Would you like to play or pass the first counter? I'll try drop zone three, please. Drop zone three it is. Whizzes down, really? settles very nicely. Anything coming over the top shelf for you there, JP? Yes! Oh, nicely done. Three counts over the top. Is the tip point going to go? Oh, not quite, no. Sadly, nothing from your first drop. Still got two left to play. Here's your next question. In the 2021 Rugby Union Six Nations Tournament, Scotland beat which team at Twickenham for the first time? And England. In 38 years, and the pain was real. <laughs> uh, you're absolutely right. Would you like to play or pass this one? I'll go drop zone three, please. Drop zone three it is. Steady drop, just stays mm. on its edge for you, Anne. Let's get that flat. Yes. Good. Now, can we get anything over the top shelf? Maybe those ones in the middle there, Anne, might fancy Let's going. Hope so. They're close. Yes, Ooh. they do. And this could be nice. Oh, or not. So <laughs> not. Just finds a gap at the back of the shelf with a little nudge and a shuffle, but nothing more, I'm afraid, Anne. Still got two left for you. Here's the next question. The name of which Spanish coastal resort region translates into English as White Coast? Anne. Costa Blanca. That's right, yeah, no problems with that one. You going straight back in? Three, please. Drop zone three. Oh, now that could have done with going flat for you, Anne. <laughs> that silver one looks a little bit naughty. Now, a bit of lateral to move those ones that are just on the edge. Yes, just. Oh, yeah. that's what we've been waiting for, Anne. Lovely. Thank you. Seven for you, Anne. Very nice. Lovely. 350 pounds. That's a tidy drop. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark with 350 pounds. And you've still got one left to play. Okay. Here's your next question. First broadcast in 2021, the fitness TV show Work Out the Right Way is hosted by which former TOWIE star? Ammon. Mark Wright? It is Mark Wright, yes. Nicely done, Ammon. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? Can I play, please? Yes, you can. Drop zone three, please. Fire up three. There you go. Nicely done. Then, Ammon. Can we get anything over the top shelf for you? Just going to split them, I'm not sure. Go, 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 go. Yes, just. And that's a nice start with four counters, Ammon. Lovely. £200 for those four. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So that gets you off the mark with £200. You've still got two counters left. Here's your next question. What name is given to a small ceremonial mallet or hammer typically used by an auctioneer, a judge? JP. Gable. 
or the chair of a meeting. It's not a gable, it's a gavel, I'm afraid. It's not a gable, I can't accept that, so I have to steal one of your counters, JP. That's going into the penalty pot. You'll be playing for that at the end of the round. JP, you've only got one counter left to use now, so you okay. need to use it wisely. Here's your next question. If an item is gilded, it is typically coated with a thin layer of which precious metal? JP. Gold. With the chemical symbol AU, it is gold. Yeah, no problems with that one. Right, what are we going to do? Do you want to play? I think I'll let Anne play. You're going to pass? Thank yeah. you okay. very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great oh, laugh, Anne. Oh, <laughs> Where do you want to go? Drop zone three, please, Let's again. Let's drop zone three. Here we go, Anne. A little Ooh. ghost drop for you there, Anne. I tell you, if that's down, that could be nice. It is down Come and flat. Come on, then. Take a couple <laughs> over that corner. <laughs> go on, go on. Oh, no, yeah. just sort of spun them round, didn't it? <laughs> Anne, I'm sorry, nothing That's more okay. to add. You stay on 350 nice pounds. pounds. <laughs> you have used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. So, Ammon, you've got two counters left. JP, you've got one left to play. Here's your next question. What is the first name of the fairy tale character who sells his mother's cow for magic beans? Ammon. Jack. Which then grow into a giant beanstalk. It is Jack, of course it is. Right, are you going to play? Yes, please. Where would you like to go? Drop zone two. Fire up drop zone two. Change attack for Ammon here. Is it going to pay out? We need three to catch Anne if we can. Oh, nicely done, yeah. Drop some rolls to the right. Is that where you wanted it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Can we get those? It looks good along the tipping point. Two sneak out for you. We'll give you £100 for those two. Closing the gap on Anne. It's now just £50 between you and Anne. When we take the £100 and put it into your bank, we we'll leave you on £300 with one counter still to play. This next question is for JP and Ammon. The island of Key Largo in Florida was historically famous for its plantations of which green-skinned citrus fruit? JP. Lime. It is lime, yeah. Now. Are you going to play yet, or are you going to ask Ammon to play her last counter? I think I'll play drop zone two, please. Going for two. Fire up two, please. It's now the right time. It's the only one you've got. There's I want to get it on the yet. right if I can. Oh, just a little ghost drop dragged it right. Is anything going over the top shelf? Not sure. Yes, just. JP, come on now. Can we get you something here? Mm. We can. Four counters drop in for you. Let's give you £200 for those four. Gets you in the game. We're going to take that £200 and put it into your bank. So, gets you on £200. That's all three of your counters used. So, for the time being, you are out. Right, Ammon, it's just you left in. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put the counter into the machine. OK. Here we go, then, Ammon. Which Labour politician served as Chancellor of the Exchequer from 1997 until his appointment as Prime Minister in 2007? David Cameron? Not David Cameron, no, of course, he's Conservative, isn't no, he? It's Gordon Brown. Oh, okay. It's Gordon Brown took over from Tony Blair. So we have to steal that counter from you, Ammon. That goes into the penalty pot. So as things stand, Anne is leading with £350. Ammon has £300. JP has £200. But it's not over. We have two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. So I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put both these counters into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right then, JP, this would be a great chance for you to close the gap further on the girls if you can give me the correct answer here. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. In the name of the public service broadcaster, the BBC, what does the letter C stand for? Anne. Corporation. It does, indeed. The British Broadcasting Corporation. Very nicely done, Anne. You weren't going to be beaten then. <laughs> Let's get these two in. Where do you want to go? I'm going to try three again. Stay with drop zone three for Anne, please. Little cluster on the right that you left there previously. Can we get back to it? Mm, not You're with not that really, one, I don't no. think. Got it flat, though. Flat, yeah. There's a few on the edge that look vulnerable, mm. Anne. You could You'll extend your lead here way. with a couple over the top. Oh, there you go. That's how close they were to going, Anne. They dropped in the end. That's looking a lot healthier. Well done. Thank you very much. Five for you there, Anne. Two hundred fifty pounds. And you've got one more to put in. Anne, where are you going to go? I'm going to change to two this one, please. Drop zone two this time, please. We want this down the left, I think, don't we? Mm, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, really direct drop. <laughs> Slammed down, didn't it? Is it going to be uh, riding on that black counter? Yes, yeah, it is. First one of the day. Oh, it is. <laughs> I hope it's the last one of the day as well. Yeah, let's hope so, Ammon. There we go. Nothing more to add, but £250 for the Thank first you. one. Very nice indeed. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Anne is now leading with £600. Ammon has £300. JP has £200. So join us after the break. See which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Aman, JP and Anne are all battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a count to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Right, Anne, you are leading after round one, so you can choose. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to ask JP or Aman to play? I am going to play first, thank you. OK, first 45 for you. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. 45 seconds for Anne, please. Time starts now. The online game, Fantasy Premier League, is based on which ball sport? Football. Correct. The education establishment, Manhattan College, is located in which East Coast US city? New York. Correct. Who plays the title character's mother in the 2021 ITV drama series, Finding Alice? Pass. Joanna Lumley. The two planets in our solar system that have no moons are Mercury and which other? Venus. Correct. In Spanish, chucho is a colloquial term for which domesticated canine animal? Dog. Correct. Since 1972, the E Street Band have been the primary backing group for the American rock singer Bruce who? Springsteen. Correct. The traditional dish, Scotch woodcock, typically consists of scrambled eggs on toast topped with which small salted fish? Herring. Not Michael. herring, it's anchovies. Anchovies. <laughs> and he didn't need it. Five correct answers. Thank you. Oh, really, really decent well. return. Five counts put into the machine. Where would you like to start, Anne? Drop zone two, please. Let's have drop zone two. Put a bit of work into two, maybe bring that double yeah, down. Yeah, hopefully. Low drop. Hit every one of the rivets on the way down. It is down, though. Come on, then. Could be nice. They're nicely massing yeah, on the... Yeah, on that side. Tipping point on that side. Yeah, go on. There we go. Oh, lovely. And they split, Come which is always then. good. Very nice. good. Well done. Eight counters, £400. Very nice first drop for you, Anne. Thank Still you. Still four more to go. Where would you like to go next? I think I'm going to go to one, thank you. Let's do drop zone one. Cheek it steady. Finish. Really loud. Yeah, nice. And another few over the top shelf. Get a double shove here. And a few more gonna go. There you go, Anne. Nice. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Four more for you, Anne. Another £200. Up to £600. And three more still to put in. Where now? Drop zone one again, please. There's David one. Mystery's nice mystery close. prize yeah. there. I think that's right. Eyes on the prize. Wow. Same place. It is hard on the left, yeah. isn't it? Not sure we'll get the mystery, but can we get any more? Is it flat? It is, nice yeah. and flat. A bit of lateral could take those yeah. two black counters that are just perched on the edge. Can we get them shifted? Yes, we can. There we go. Two more drop in, another £100. Put that in, takes you up to £700 in the machine. Still got two more to go, Anne. Drop zone one, please. One again. Other side, ooh. Yeah. Good. In the middle. Nice and flat. flat. Yeah. Now, hopefully, get a couple over a couple the top over shelf. The top. They spread widely on go. it. Could it get on it? Ooh, it's getting closer. You're getting closer, I think. <laughs> Maybe the next one. It's another three, Anne. Keeping that money ticking up nicely. Thank Another you. £150. The mystery's really close now. It is. You're going to put your last one in one? Drop zone one, please. Fire it up. Down the right would be lovely, wouldn't it? Very nice. Right on it. Mm, ah. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not Roll pins. the way. You left it for someone else to claim. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you a few more, though, to add to your money. Oh, oh you got it on the left. <laughs> Just when you think there. it's not going to go. A little bit of lateral. And that's another six across the tipping point. Really okay. lovely finish. Another £300. It's been a very successful trip. £1,150, which you can take and put into your bank. It's going to leave you on £1,750. And you finally got your hands on the mystery prize that you've been angling for. Uh, you've won yourself a robotic vacuum cleaner, courtesy of Yuffie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our pleasure. Love a Robo Hoover. <laughs> and nicely done. You set yourself up really well. It's a Thank great you. performance. Right then, Aman, you are £100 ahead of JP. So you can choose to play next if you think the machine is ready. Alternatively, you could ask JP to play before you. I think I'm just going to go for it. OK, 45 seconds for Aman, please. Your time starts now. The term tankini is a combination of tank top and the word for which Bikini. two... Bikini. Correct. Echo Buds are a set of wireless earphones developed by which online retailer? Amazon. Correct. The island of Tahiti is part of an overseas collectivity of which European country? Spain. France. During the 1970s, which Brazilian driver won two Formula One World Championships? Michael Schumacher. Emerson Fittipaldi. <laughs> According to superstition, a clover is said to bring good luck if it has how many leaves? Four. Correct. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor took place during which World War? Two. Correct. Which British singer-songwriter had a UK number one album in 2021 with Evering Road? James Morrison. Tom Grennan. <laughs> the top part of a pillar or column often having a decorative design is typically known by what name? Did you know the top part of a pillar is called? No idea. The capital. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. Four correct answers, okay. though, Aman. Well done. Four counts. Well, not too shabby. That yeah. is good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> you got your tankini question very quickly. The term tankini is a combination of tank top and the word for which two-piece swimming costume. Right, you've got four counters, though. I'm on, let's see if we can close this gap on Anne and extend your lead over JP. What okay. are you thinking? I'm thinking drop zone four. The yeah. only one we've not used yet. Fire up four, please. Yep. Rapid wow. drop, really quick. And a nice settle, pretty central. Couple over go. the top. One sneaks out, you nudge the double forward. Let's give you £50 for that silver counter. Three to go, I'm on. Can I have drop down four again, please? You can. Four up, please. I think it might... It's a good spot if it goes. Okay. If it goes... Ooh, no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just nudging them across the top, but we need them down. OK, Amon, stay with four? Yes, please. Four again. Yeah. Hammer's down again. They're all wow. flying out of the machine. <laughs> Mystery's going to go down, hopefully, with a bit of help. Go on, go on. Yes, it does. Come on, Aman. A bit of money. Yay! Yes, we can. The double did survive, though. Another 11 for you, Aman. Let's put £550 in. That's more like it, isn't it? Up to £600. One more counter to go in as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with drop zone four, please. Four again. After that double. He's desperate for it to stay in. Yeah. Now is that? Oh, that's, down, that's yeah. going to be a problem. What do you think? No, that's going down. JP thinks it's going down. It's flat. Is it flat? Ooh. Is it going to go? You need to double with as many as possible. If it will go. Oh, that'll do it. What can we get here? Hey. Double in any more? Oh, oh, no, I'm happy with well that. Well done. <laughs> well done, that's good. <laughs> Three more drop in for you, Amon. Another £150. But, of course, one of them was the double, so we can double it up and give you another £150. You finish up with £900. Let's put okay. that into your bank. Thank you. And that's going to leave you on £1,200. Right then, JP. Quite an ask do. for you here. 45 seconds of JP, please. Your time starts now. Ten pins is a form of which ball game typically played on lanes? Bowling. Correct. At the 2019 general election, Kwasi Kwarteng was re-elected as an MP for which political party? Pass. Conservatives. Agents Running in the Field is a 2019 novel by which British author? Pass. John le Carré. Catherine Hahn plays Agatha Harkness in which 2021 Marvel-based Disney Plus series? Pass. WandaVision. 
Which southern hemisphere country has the top level internet domain .au? Australia. Correct. In the traditional version of the board game Cluedo, what is the surname of the Reverend? Pass. Green. Justin Hawkins is the lead singer of which Brit award winning glam rock group? <laughs> the Darkness. Navy Pier is a popular tourist destination in which US city? Pass. Oh, JP. Oh, well. Chicago was the last Chicago, answer we were yeah. after, JP. You got two rights. That first one you got very quickly. Ten pins is a form of which ball game typically played on lanes in an alley? Ten pin bowling. And you said bowling. You got two counters. Where do you want to go? I'm going to see if I can get that mystery counter. Drop zone four. Drop zone four it is. Get it down the left. Mm. That's where there's a big gap. Yeah, right. Just in fill that one exactly. <laughs> okay, but we filled the gap. One more to go in, then, JP. Drop zone four, then, please. Let's hit four, please. Go on, JP. Slams over to the right. The mystery's not going to be no. bothered, is it? But are you going to finish with anything to add to your two hundred pounds? Yeah, three more counters drop. Sadly, it won't be enough, but let's take the £150 from the machine and put it into your bank, and that means at the end of the round, Anne is leading with £1,750. Aman is through £1,200. JP, I'm sorry to say that means with £350, we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing. No, it's been great, thank you. It's been lovely Cheers. to meet you, JP. So it's Amon and Anne will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Amon and Anne. Well done to both of you for Thank getting this you. far. We're about to find out which one he's going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. Little bit of work for you to do here, Amon, uh, to try and close the gap on Anne, but we've still got that double on the top shelf of Drop Zone 2, so it can certainly be done. You're a teacher. How old are your students? At the moment, I'm teaching Year 2. So they're six to seven year olds. How is it? I love it. I you do love, love it. it, yeah. And you recently got married as well, didn't yes, you? I mean, congratulations. I Thank you. How was the big day? It was lovely, very quiet, very intimate, but it was. I think people talk about, oh, it's the best day of your life, I think, is it? But it really was. It really <laughs> was. It was the best. What's your husband's name? Bavinda. Bavinda. Yes. Well, look, I'm sure he's very proud of the performance you put in, as I'm sure undoubtedly will be your students. And if we can try and find a few more of those counters, you could certainly be playing for our jackpot. Hopefully. So best of luck to you. Thank and you. very nicely done by you as Thank well. You. Now, you've got a Scottish accent, I can hear that. But you don't live up there anymore, no, do you? No, I live in Bristol. I've been in Bristol for 24 years. Now, you and your entire family, big tipping point fans, yes. have they given you any advice? Did they send you with well, any plans? My granddaughter said this morning, bring back the million pound. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much, Aaliyah, well, but... That escalated. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. Well, you can't yeah. let her down, Anne. Well, I'll try. Whatever you do, you've done a great job <laughs> up till now. You could well be playing for our jackpot. We can't give you a million pounds. No, no. But certainly it would feel like that to a granddaughter at some point. Best of luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. So, Anne, you are leading, so you can choose. Would you like the first question? Or would you like to offer it to Amon? I'll take the first question, okay. please. OK, first question for you. In which BBC sci-fi series does Mandip Gill play probationary police officer Yasmin Khan? You can pass it over if you're not sure. I'm trying to even think of some sci-fi. I, I really don't know, so I'm going to pass it to you. Amon, over to you. Let's steal this one if we can. Do you yeah. think of the BBC sci-fi series? The only thing I'm thinking is Doctor Who. Is it sci-fi? Is it BBC? I don't know. I'm just going to have to give it a guess. Doctor and say Who? Doctor yeah. Who, yeah. And what do you think? I haven't a clue. You didn't know? <laughs> OK, so you had to pass it. Amon, let's see. It's a great time to steal if you're right. Is the answer Doctor Who? Yeah, Yay! absolutely. I I Doctor Doctor Who. You know Doctor <laughs> Who, of course, BBC <laughs> sci-fi. You got the right answer. Let's get some money. I think I'm just going to go drop some four. Yeah, Is come on okay? then. Fire up four, please. <laughs> Can we get here? Try 
try and chip away at Anne's lead. It's that not really the side that I want, is it? Really flat? Oh, he's riding oh, as well. Lucky. So, no damage done, fortunately, for you, Anne. Hard luck, hmm. Ammon. You do keep control, though. Time for your yep. first question. Alligators are native to North America and which other continent? Australia. OK, you've gone with Australia. Anne, what would you have said? Probably Africa. You might have gone Africa. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So, Ammon, you've thrown out Australia. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Australia? No, the crocodiles in Australia. It's Asia, in fact. Asia, is it? It is Asia. And you get the counter. Where should we put it? I'll go four, please. Drop some four, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, that would be nice. That yeah. looks Let's like it be could be. <laughs> if it is flat, yeah, at the mystery as well. Yeah. You can bring that stack on the front of the shelf down. That would be nice. Come on, then. And you do, oh, yeah. yeah, they separate well. Come on, then. There we go. Oh, look at that. Six counters and a cross tipping point. Let's take that 300 pounds from the machine and put it into your bank. It's complete on 2,050 pounds. You keep control as well, Anne. Okay. Time for your second question. Scout Finch is the narrator of which Pulitzer Prize winning novel published in 1960? Ring any bells? 1960, I don't know if that's. I'm going to pass it. I do have a slight clue, but I'm going to pass it. Right, Ammon. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I do know that some people do this for GCSE. To Kill a Mockingbird? To Kill a Mockingbird. What do you think, Anne? I was thinking Animal Farm, but I don't know if 1960 is too late for okay. that. So. So, Ammon, we could do with this. We could. It's a great answer if you're right. Is it To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes, Yay! great answer. <laughs> Harper Lee, of course. <laughs> Ammon, you get the counter. Where should we put it? I might go drop zone two. Change it up. Drop yeah. zone two it is. <laughs> oh, just reversed on you. Let's see if we can get something flat and get you some money. Yes, it is that? down and flat. Are you going to get nice any bunch there. I think it might just kind of just push things forward, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. And as close as that is, it's just being pinned in place by the silver one on top. Mm. And it's not going to go. So, Amin, you keep control, though. Time yep. for your second question. The 2017 stage musical Girl from the North Country is based around the songs of which singer-songwriter? No idea at the moment. You can pass it over if you're not sure. I think I'm going to pass it. Right. If that's OK. Sorry. Anne, ring any bells? Honestly, my mind has went a blank. I need something, I'm afraid. Um. Can you think of a singer? Celine singer? Dion. Celine Dion. You've got to give me something. Amon, have you had any thoughts? No idea. No idea. OK, let's see if you're right. Is the answer Celine Dion? That was Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. It's one oh, of his songs off his oh, second studio. Oh, no, oh, no, well, there you no, go. There you that was go. a trick question, that one. <laughs> you got the counter, so what should we do? I'm going to go drop down two again, please. Two, please. <laughs> Whips Sit down. down. Settles very quickly. Yeah, there we go. couple. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, well, there we go. That's, that's <laughs> surprising. Six counters for you there, yeah, Alan. That's more like you. it, isn't it? 300 pounds, that's what we needed. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on 1,500 pounds. And we come to you, time for your third Thank and final you. question. Nuke is the capital of which large island that is a self governing territory of Denmark? You can pass it if you're not sure, Anne. Go for it. <laughs> right, I'm on. Greenland? Is Greenland an island? Greenland? Can't really think of anything else, so I'm going to go with Greenland. OK. Anne? Greenland. You... <laughs> yeah, I, just, I did, but I wasn't sure, so, yeah, I would yeah. have said Greenland. You said yeah. Greenland as well. Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Alan. It's a great steal if you are right. Is the answer Greenland? Yeah. It is. is yeah. It? Another good answer, That's Alan. That's when you should sure just look. follow yeah, your instincts. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, Alan. I think I'm going to stick with drop zone two. Let's have two, please. Top shelf looks very good on two, doesn't it? 
Yeah, then the bottom's a bit sketchy. It's so a little. If it, if it goes on that side. Get a few over, though. Hard on the left. Oh, that could be nice. If the top shelf wants to play. And it there does. There we go. Can we get some more here? No, oh, sadly not, no. But you keep control, Ammon. Time for your third and final question. 2020 marked the 75th anniversary of the founding of which intergovernmental organisation headquartered in New York? Intergovernmental in New York. You can pass it if you're not sure. Yeah, I think... Yeah. OK, and? So it's at the end of the Second World War. Um, I'm going to go NATO. Go yeah. in NATO? Yeah. OK, let's see if you're right, Anne. It's a great steal if you are. Is the answer NATO? No. It's not NATO, no, it was the UN, United oh, Nations. I knew Fear. it was going to be something that you know yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of yeah. course, absolutely. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you got the counter, Alan. Doesn't matter how you get it, let's put it in and see if we can get you something to finish with. Drop zone two, please. Let's have two. Let's see, that double going to come over. Yes, it does, finally. Can we finish with anything for you here, Amon? Oh, <laughs> the machine didn't want to give anything else out, which means, sadly, despite your best efforts, the scores stay as they were, and that means, Anne, at the end of the round, with £2,050, very well played. You are today's that winner. Lucky in Congratulations. That no, you did really was well. it lucky? Yeah. Amon, you have played really well, as Anne said. Some great answers in that round. But I'm afraid with £1,500, we have found a different point. Thanks for playing. Thank you. I've had a lovely day. It's been lovely to Thank meet you. Thank you. So, Anne, as our champion, in a few Thank moments, you. I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all the others, though, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Lovely. Can Anne master the machine by finding its chatbot to point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text costs two pounds plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost two pounds plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Anne is our winner today and has managed to get £2,050. Well done, you. Thank you very much. You've had a great game all the way through, Anne. Now, though, it's about trying to get our jackpot counter out. So what do you think you'll do with the money? Where are we to do? Oh, just... we are going to take all the kids away somewhere nice. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. How many kids and grandkids are there? Jeff and I have got three kids between us and the five grandchildren. I tell you what, it'll be lovely for it you all to be able lovely. to go somewhere nice and hot and celebrate what well, has been a great performance till now, Anne, and Thank fingers you. crossed, is only going to get better from here on in, so best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Anne's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. Okay. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, see if you can get it to drop with that double counter that's on the bottom shelf there. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. So, where do you want to put your jackpot counter? I am going to go drop zone two, please. Let's do it. Fire up two, please. <laughs> Rams itself down and stays on its edge. There we now, go. Dearly Let... flat. Oh, it's riding. Oh, good start. <laughs> OK, we've just got to surf it in. We can definitely do it. It's certainly be there done. There we go. We'll just get enough to slide it over and hopefully when it goes over the top shelf, we can Spread. get it flat. Yeah. Okay. Right then, let's have a look at your categories. Here they are. We have sport, music, nature, royalty, theatre and mythology. You can play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, where do you want to start for how many counters? Um, at the top. Should be a strong subject, hopefully. I'm going to go with sport for three. We're going to hit sport for three, please. Which of the following UK football clubs is based the furthest north? Partick Thistle, Arsenal or Swansea? Swansea is in West Wales. Arsenal is in London. Partick Thistle is in Glasgow. So I'm going to say 
Partick Thistle. We're going to go with Partick Thistle, please. This is a gift of a question, <laughs> really, isn't it? <laughs> UK football clubs, which is the furthest north, is the answer Partick Thistle? Yeah, of course it is. Well like done. That one. <laughs> Good start for you. Three counters. Drop zone two. Yes, please. Light up two, please. Nearly got there, nearly got there. Just needed it to swing a little bit more. Down flat. and flat. OK, so can we squeeze some of that come on, heavy then. shelf, really heavy shelf now? Look at that, rammed full. Right, and we ready? Two more to go. <laughs> two again? Yes, please. Light it up. There. There we go. Right now. Right, how's this it going flat. to work then? <laughs> yes, it's flat. flat. I hope you can slide it underneath. Take out that shelf is so heavy in yes. front of the jackpot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go on. Yes, hey. there we go. <laughs> oh, nice big spread. A very nice drop as well. Lovely, thank you. Seven counts to go in. Three hundred fifty pounds. Money goes up to two thousand four hundred pounds. One more to go and drops on two. Yes, please, Ben. Let's have two, please. Straight in there, man. Come on, then. Oh. Now, can we take out a bit more of that top shelf? And maybe get near the jack, uh, the double. It's down and flat. Come on, then. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Clean to the shelf nicely. There's two more into the window. Okay. So another hundred pounds. The money goes up nicely. Two thousand five hundred pounds. We've got that jackpot just riding forward nicely as well. Back to the categories then, Anne. We're heading down the list. Music's next. Ooh, music for two, I think. Yeah, please. Music for two, please. Which UK capital city was the title of a 1977 Boney M hit? Belfast, Cardiff or London? Ooh, very much my era. Boney M. I am just going to say... London, because I can't really think why Belfast or Cardiff would be in songs. So I'll say London. Let's go with London. Boney M in 77, did they write a song entitled London? <laughs> Belfast. Was it? Mm, the lyrics. That was my next one. Yeah, the lyrics <laughs> yeah. refer to sort of the troubles oh, and the divided they, oh, city. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that. OK, not to worry. Okay. Let's go back to the categories. Nature's next. Two, please. Nature for two. Which is the fastest of the four basic gates of a horse where all four of the horse's hooves leave the ground? Canter, trot or gallop? Trot is the slowest. OK. Just, like... Trotting along. Yep. Canter, I think, is the fast, um, a bit faster. But I think the fastest one would be gallop. Should we go gallop? Yep, please. We're going to gallop, please. More confident about this one. Is the answer gallop? Yeah. Nicely done. Right. Thank you. Top zone two. Yes, please. Light it up. Right in the right hand corner, please. Mm, nope, mm. not listening. No, it's not. It's flat, yeah? Let's see if we can get that black counter down. Come on, then. Two counts to drop in. There's a few more waiting to go, but let's give you £100 are. for those two <laughs> silver ones. £2,600. One more to go in, Anne. Drop zone two. Yes, please. Light up two, please. It is right in that corner, isn't it? Ooh, Come on, then. Ooh, there we go. Now. Let's see what it do? does if it goes here. flat for us, it does go yeah. flat. I think it's going to sneak round it. Actually, it's going to be too heavy. Oh, it's just bit. not. Come on, then. The double with some others, please. Yes. There we go. Well done. Four drop in. Another £200. Takes it up to £2,800. And the double dropped in as well. So we can double it up and give you another £200. So the money goes up very nicely. We're up to £3,000, Anne. Back to the categories. We are halfway. Royalty, theatre and mythology. Royalty for three, please. OK. Royalty for three. 
Which of these is not one of Elizabeth II's middle names? Victoria, Alexandra or Mary? Queen Victoria. And then there is Princess Alexandra, but there was Queen Mary as well. Alexandra and Mary would probably be there. I'm going to go, I guess, Victoria. Victoria? Yes, please. We're going to go with Victoria, please. One of those is not one of Elizabeth II's middle names. Is it Victoria? Yes, well done. Thank you, thank you. you found the right answer there, brilliantly. Just to see, it could have been any of them. <laughs> so she gets Alexandra from her great-grandmother and Queen Mary from her paternal grandmother. There we go. OK, right. Drop zone two. Yes, please. Light it up. Just got to go for this jackpot counter, isn't it? But let's have a go. Not that one, but there's a, there's a little selection of counters on the bottom. They're getting closer. Oh, Two drop-ins. Give you £100. £3,100. Two more to go in. Drop zone two. Yes, please. Light it up, please. Uh. Ah, <laughs> just wanted it to stop there. <laughs> now, maybe get a Black. little bit... That silver one could slide underneath it nicely. Come on. No, it's too heavy. Oh, okay. Just, I don't know now what to. One more to go in. What do you think? Yeah, I'll, I'll try one more and see how it goes. Light up two, please. We need it really hard on the right. We've had no joy there, have we? What's that? that now, what will happen here? You're reading the machine. Yeah, just uh, trying to get some of those yeah. ones out from underneath the jackpot might help. That'll help, though. Yeah, Another three yeah. counters for you there, Anne. Another £150. Takes us up to £3,250. Very frustrating where yes, it is. It's kind of isolated. Very much so. Very much so. We've got two categories left, though, so okay. we can keep going. Theatre and mythology. Theatre and because of where the jackpot counter is, I'm going to go for three. We need it, don't we? Yes. Theatre for three. Which Shakespeare play features the line, cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war? Julius Caesar, King Lear or Romeo and Juliet? For some reason, I'm going to say not Romeo and Juliet. For no other reason than I'm just going to say it. I'm going to go King Lear. King Lear? Yes, please. I'm going down the middle with King Lear, please. Yes. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Is that a line from King Lear? No. Julius Caesar. Is it? <laughs> spoken by Mars Anthony after the assassination of Caesar. Right, OK, then. OK. Last category, then, Anne. Mythology. When I saw that, I thought, oh, no, but I'm <laughs> going to go for three anyway, so... <laughs> Mythology for three. In Greek mythology, who was punished in the underworld by being given fruit and water that was always out of his reach? Sisyphus, Atlas or Tantalus? Tantalus, tantalising. Ooh. If they couldn't reach it, it was like Tantalus. So I'm going to go Tantalus. Tantalus? Yeah. We're going to go with Tantalus. Because it would be tantalising to have yes. that water and fruit and just out of reach. It. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Tantalus? It is indeed. Oh, and you're oh, absolutely oh, right. It's where tantalising comes it from. <laughs> it does. There you go. Lovely stuff. Right, right. three counts. What so, are you thinking, Anne? I am just thinking money now. <laughs> yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. So I'm going to change to drop zone one, please. Let's give it a go. Fire one up, yeah. please. Now, if we have one like that in drop zone two... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ..it might have got near the jackpot counter. Yeah, it's underneath that one, isn't it? Yeah, bit of a gap there, but we've got three to fill it up and then start clearing out some money if we can. OK. No. Nope. One again? Yes, please. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> OK, let's see if we can get something this side. Anything going to go over for us? Is that silver one going to want to drop? Oh, oh, they're just playing now. <laughs> one more then, one Anne. One more, yeah. Drop zone one? Yes, please. Drop zone one, please. Uh, OK. 
Okay, that's where the first one went. <laughs> nice and flat. Come on, let's get something Come on, over. Just to finish with. Oh, man. I don't believe Look it. Look how full it is now. So frustrating. So mm. nothing more to add. The money stays at £3,250. Usually at this stage, as I'm sure you know, I'd offer yes. you a trade, three final counters for what you've got so far and the hope of getting the jackpot count out. Given that you've already turned your back on it, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say, but I need to ask you nonetheless, would you like to take the money or the trade? I am going to take the money, thank you. Congratulations, thank well you done. Thank you very much. £3,250 is a lovely amount of it money. Is. It and is. let's not forget, you've won your robotic vacuum My cleaner vacuum as well. Cleaner. Amazing. <laughs> Have you enjoyed yourself, Anne? I've had a great day. Thank you very much. It's been great fun. I've loved playing alongside Thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely stuff. So there you go. Anne's leaving with £3,250. Felt like it was doomed early yeah, on, wasn't it? Look it really at the was. Counter. Maybe the wrong choice. Riding on the top. We just couldn't get it out. So join us next time in the fate of three more players. We'll hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>